What up? So five ways, five ways to get rid of books. Well, this is the process and how I do it. It may not work for you. And you can take whatever information you want from this and apply it to your process. Okay, so recently we bought a bunch of books. We got to get rid of them and they're taking up space. They're heavy. We want to maximize. There's all these things that we got to process. Okay, so check this out. So let's just get right to it. You get a book. It's got a barcode. Scan it. Check to see if it goes on Amazon. If it goes on Amazon, in my situation, if it's under a million in sales rank, that means the number of times it sells during a period of time on Amazon and they rank it. Well, if it's under a million for me, I'm good. I'm golden. You could go higher if you want, but I ain't going to say have that thing sit around any longer than these books that sell for a million in sales rank. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, eBay. Oh, I like eBay. eBay does quite well in books. I like the fact that they don't charge a whole lot of money either, too, like Amazon does. Amazon charges a hell of a lot of money to sell a book. You realize that? Oh, you don't know that yet? Well, you will find out. I highly recommend if you're going to do books and you're going to do a lot of them and you're selling them, stick with the pro account because you get the $3.99 uh, mailing credit for the sale of any book. So $3.99 goes back into your account. So you can technically sell a book for less than a dollar and ship it out for $2.89 and still make a little bit of money. So something to consider. When you go to the free account and you're doing them individually like I am now, you got to pay a dollar more. <laughs> what? Boy, he's taking you to the cleaners on this one, isn't he? So the second way is eBay. I will like to bundle them up in uh, maybe, you know, the category of this uh, being what, cookbooks. So that's cool. Oh, I got an itchy nose. Woo! I should have I should have edited that out. But you know what? I, I ain't going to do it. So it is what it is. If you don't like it. Go watch cartoons. Um, look, back to eBay. First editions, signature books, older books that we've got over here. Boom, boom, boom. We got books back there. Boom, boom, boom. Those are all going to eBay. Yeah. Look, this one right here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Third way. Third way to get rid of books. Now that you've processed them from Amazon to see if they go on eBay... You put them back in a box, right? Because they don't meet the criteria. They're not a first edition. They're not signed. They're not old. They're not under a million. That's my criteria. Now, what are they? Are they cookbooks? Mm, okay. We're taking them up. We're giving them a chance. So say you got a, a bunch of leftover hardcovers that are fiction, nonfiction, mystery, horror, thriller, da 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 Those would do well in a bulk lot if they're like authors. You can put those on offer up. Not working very well for me. Uh, I get a lot of flakes, trolls, people who can't commit and make. Um, I, I don't know if they have like issues at home or what, but yeah, it's it's not a promising uh, promising future on that platform for selling books. The very positive way, number four, very positive way of me selling books uh, is flea market. Now that I have them in a box, because I just took pictures of them and I put them on OfferUp and realized that the people on OfferUp are the same people from Craigslist, I take them to the flea market. I get a dollar a book for them. That's basically what you're going to get for them when you sell them on Amazon because you have to be competitive with your prices and you have to look at the sales rank and the amount of people that are on there. And uh, so you get them for a dollar at the flea. Take them three, four, five times, in my case, five times, okay? And then at that point, step number five. Now, this is important, guys. Now, all joking is set aside. I do not like to donate to the big thrift stores, which I just did recently because it was conveniently located on my way to where I was going at that time. And having five boxes of books... In the vehicle does take a toll, not only on the vehicle, the gas mileage. And I've taken it to the flea market uh, five times already. And I think we squeezed out as much as we could out of it. I'm trying to justify it, but here we'll get straight to the point. Try to look for those little cabinet libraries in the communities. Take a book, give a book kind of a thing. Uh, donate them to 
um, maybe take them to work and put a couple on the table, uh, a box or whatever, take them to a skilled nursing facility, take them to a rehab center, take them to the library, uh, take them to an adult daycare, um, you know, try to give them directly back to the community without throwing them away. Please do not throw books away. Uh, I, I, I highly recommend that there's, there's other ways of doing that. If you're lazy and you're going to do it, shame on you. And, um, you know, I just think a book has a lot of value that people overlook and, um, there's money to be made in it for sure. But you do you and I'll do me and everybody will be happy. <laughs> That's the lyrics to the song, baby. So anyway, at it again. I don't give a sip. The hustle is a grind. Thanks for watching. Those are the five steps on how I'm processing books because I've got more inventory that I am looking at getting and I need to make more room. And uh, those 40-some boxes that remain are taking up a lot of space. So catch me on the next video. Thanks for watching. The Crazy Lobster. And I appreciate you so much. Peace.